Welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Where the fuck are we in this game? Eggman. Oh, right. Here. In the space colony arc. Hmm. He's inside the his, his pyramid base. The pyramid that in California. Yeah. In the I mean, there are deserts in California. There are deserts in California, but like We interrupt this broadcast. Like outside of Los Angeles. Wait a minute. There isn't. I just realized. What? what? This is a pyramid scheme. <laughs> God damn it. He's, he's, in, he's in a pyramid and he's scheming. It's a pyramid scheme. Oh. I've been playing this game for 20 years and I still have no idea what accent that reporter is supposed to have. Stupid. It's like an American doing a really bad British accent. I was gonna say I don't think it's British. It sounds British. I don't think British, it's intended. Though. I don't think it's intended to be British. Broadcast. Oh boy, flashback. In fact, actually, I think it's probably closer to Australian. What? What? Man, if <laughs> if only we had a video game that could explain this cutscene. Oh man. Yeah, it's a good thing. I we got a whole fucking it, like, game for it. I always love how when it oh, when it cuts to him in the tube, he just goes, "What? What? I can't hear you. I'm in a tube." <laughs> He's saying like, "What? No, seriously. What are you doing? I can't hear you." Revenge. Oh boy. Is that what you're saying? It's time for Shadow. Radical Highway. Good. One of my favorite level. levels in the game. It's because it's a good one. Turns out the only good levels in this game are the first. Ah, uh, you didn't do like the, what I do. I usually do like a spin dash at the top of the hill and just shoot down the hill with that. Uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. It's so fun though. I love how that that road sign up there says "Freedom?" Question mark mile. To be fair, I don't like what 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 fucking. What fucking road is this? Who's driving on this? Me. It's radical we're highway. Like, we're like the game told thousands. Us this. We're thousands of feet above the city. Well, it's still under construction. So I was gonna say, imagine there. there's someone driving on this highway, and they're just like, "Damn it! There's a traffic jam. I'm late for work." Do the cars have to take the springs too? Yes. yes. That's, that's pretty great. No and wonder this they highway get, is so radical. And they also get pelted by the explosions from overhead. It's like oh. some one of somebody's car ends up getting blasted, and they're just like, "Damn it! I just had a new decal put on the car today." I really wanted to get that that ramp. Just extremely determined. God ring. No. I remember back when I first played this game, when my cousins were, I believe, renting it. Uh, from and we um we were playing this. I played this level like a dozen times in like the week that we had the chance to play it, a week or two. And then I continued to play this game a bunch, or this level a bunch more times when I actually own the game because I don't know why I just love this level. When did, did you, you finally buy this it? Level? Huh? When did when did you buy it for yourself? I bought it for myself. So here's the thing: I did not own a GameCube until 2007. Oh, can we pause for just a second? What exactly is the purpose of that plane up there, other than to be really loud and obnoxious? Oh uh, yes. To pause my video. Anyway, no. go on. Uh, so, I didn't own a GameCube until about 2007 or so. So, oh, keep okay. that in mind. Uh, I bought Sonic Adventure 2 Battle fairly early into owning my own GameCube. And I bought it with a $20 bill I had found on the ground walking to my friend's house one day. And at the time, the game was $15. It's nice. It's nice. That is the 
pretty good story, actually. Yeah. So, it, it's th this was back when you know Sonic Adventure Two Battle hard copy was actually not very expensive. Yeah. Nowadays it is, but it it cost way less back. This was um, I bought this like pretty much right after the player's choice. Like, cause this was one of the first like I think six games to be on the player's choice for the yeah. GameCube. Um, and I remember buying it, like, pretty soon after that started. Hmm. Too easy I paid $20 for it. I think that's why I ended up getting mine for 15 because I'm pretty sure mine was a player's oh, hey. choice copy as well. Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star Online. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? okay. We're back to Sonic. To hey, this looks familiar. We've never fought this before. <laughs> yeah. Bigfoot. I mean, we did in the... Uh, you know, original Let's Play of this game. I like that, uh, Fuck. they, like, Chaos, it was, like, looked upon so fondly that they're making a movie franchise about it. Yeah. Oh, he, like, yeah, destroyed an entire before. city. He destroyed an entire city, but now nah, we're gonna make a movie franchise about it. I mean, like, honestly, that's what would happen in real life. Yeah. How many, how many 9-11 movies are there? Uh, a, quite a lot. No, a non-zero. Definitely a non-zero yeah. amount. There's a spider trip Bigfoot. Bigfoot I start this over. boss fight kind of rough because I jump into him like an idiot. But I got it. I, I, I got it in the end. Sonic, your quills are still moving. He's too fast. What? It all starts with this. A you know, in HD, it like, it, it really just like kind of shows like all, shows off all of like the little like glitches and quirks about these cutscenes because it doesn't look that bad when you're playing it on a GameCube on a CRT, but when you're playing it on like a good monitor in 1080p. It just looks, like, a lot worse. Like his legs were going through his stomach. Yeah. Or how Shadow is just a JPEG right there. Whoa, I mean, so cool. That's what happens, unfortunately, when you just up something without actually, like, remastering it and, like, tweaking the, the visuals. You start to, uh, see a lot of the cracks. Yeah. Kuh! Yoke. Not again. Headquarters. This is really Meanwhile, as Rugi... And we'll proceed to enter it now. <sighs> I hate to say it. I guess I'm going to have to find that key. Damn, we still There's haven't played as Tails yet. Yeah. Tails doesn't we... start doing anything in the actual story for a while, huh? I mean, well, he's, he's reactionary to Sonic being, yeah, you know, he starts doing shit once Sonic gets arrested, which happened just now. Yeah. So he'll be like, "Well, we'll what we're doing, Knuckles next." Um, right after this is Eggman again, actually. Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, we do most of Eggman's levels in the first three parts. Dang. Um... To be fair, Eggman basically, he does all the stuff he was planning to do on his end, and then decides to just kind of chill out while he's giving everyone an ultimatum, and probably doesn't do anything after that and just waits on people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Tails' uh, first level isn't until after Eggman does Weapons Bed. Because, Dang. uh, that, that's like right before the Tails and Eggman boss fight. So, like, by the time Tails does anything, Eggman has already done three levels. But yeah, no, Tails' his whole story is reactionary to, you know, and I mean, that's true in most, most games, is he reacts to something Sonic's doing. 
Because, I mean, otherwise he just kind of does his own thing. Yeah. And doesn't get involved. Yeah, and his, his own thing isn't, you know, so, you know, it's not dependent on other other stuff, like how Knuckles uh, is tied to the camp. You know, the Master Emerald. Until yeah, they just... Un un until they just give up on that. Yeah. Pretty quick. Because, like, as early as Heroes, Knuckles is just hanging out with Tails in the tornado for some reason. Yeah. Oh, do you guys want to see something fun? How long it takes me... Oh, first of all, Speed Shoes. Hell yeah. In a treasure hunting level. How many yeah. tries it takes me... To get the goddamn key out of the wall. How many how many times does it take you to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of the Tootsie Pop? Well, that was five. Six. Seven. Eight. There's a skull there, that's nine, ten. Eleven. I definitely dug in that spot before. I don't know why it didn't trigger the first time. Yeah, it's gotta make sure to give you like a C. Yeah, I mean, I got an A either way, so. Damn. Perfect. Well, they were trying to give you a C. <laughs> yeah. It's a space transporter. The destination has been set to Ark. I like how she just, like, starts fucking with this hologram computer that Eggman invented, and she knows exactly how to use it. Well, yeah, she's a secret agent. All secret agents know how to use all computers. It's true. Anyway, next up in the story, more Eggman. Actually, Eggman does four levels before Tails does one. Jesus, Tails, what the fuck are you doing? Because, uh, not to spoil the, you know, beginning of the next part, but the very next level after this one is another Eggman level. Dang. Yosh! I know, spoilers for a 20-year-old game, but also, you know, just for how things are ordered. But anyway, uh, here we are in space, as early as part two. It's all dark in here and spooky. It's too spooky for me. Jack, hold my hand. Okay. I do love the music for this level. Yoke. Yoke. Is Cloud still with us? Yeah, I'm no. here. Okay. Just making sure. I don't know who you're talking about, Jack. It's only ever been the two of us. Whoa. I always kind of forget that um, this level is this early in the game, so when it comes up, I'm like, fuck, another Eggman level? Because the way that uh, Team Dark is, like, laid out, um, you know, Eggman does four levels before Shadow even does his second. And Eggman only has five levels total, so, like, we won't be doing Eggman's last level until close to the end of the story. Just gotta get him out of the way. I guess. Honestly, like, I understand that they wanted to, like, spread it out and have, like, ten of each kind of level. Like, ten, uh... Ten shooters, ten, uh, speed stages, and ten treasure hunters, but, like... Kinda wish they gave Shadow more than four levels. I was gonna say, yeah, cause they give Sonic six. Yup. But that's because it's Sonic. He's got to have the yeah. most levels. Otherwise, it's not Sonic the Hedgehog. It's... It's Sonic and friends. It's friends featuring Sonic. That's just Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. <laughs> um... Dude, I was gonna say something else and I already forgot. Uh, then just fill the void by saying yo four times in a row. Yo! 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 
Oh boy, guys, are you ready for an automated section that lasts over a minute? No. It's actually not over a minute, it's like maybe 45 seconds, but, you know. Still no. Well, it's not automated, it's just on rails. Y yeah. Um... I do at least like, you know, I like Eggman's levels more than I like Tails' levels, honestly. Hey, big. Um, because, I mean, I'm, most people know this, but originally, uh, Tails, was, Tails wasn't originally planned to be a playable character in this game. It was just gonna be Sonic, Knuckles, Shadow, and Eggman. And honestly, the game, the game probably would have been better for it, because then we would have had, like, a majority of speed levels. Why oh, is Big in space? That's a good question. Big is in a lot of places in this game. I was gonna say, isn't which is he uh, in every single level. He has a cameo in every single level. Is it actually every level? That I know of, yeah. Wow, I did not know that. I thought it was just certain levels, but I guess you know, only a few of them are like obvious. Yeah. He's just there. He's just chilling. 30,000 points, and that's not an A. What the no. fuck? You missed a robot. I mean, ah, I missed an emblem. Oh well. Ignore that. <laughs> Forgot to edit that one out. I try to edit out all of the, uh, the emblem gets, because it's like, it'd be weird to see, like, the number jump around so much. Because I recorded the hero story first. Of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many Shadow, how did you get here? The top secret <clears throat> Chaos Control? The, where yeah. I mean, the, yeah. He's that's, the ultimate burrito. This is one of them. I guess that's true. This must be pretty fucking good at Chaos Control to, like, teleport himself all the way from Earth to the Ark. Destroying an entire planet. That's... That's how good hatred is. It just lets you do bullshit. I always love how over the top this, like, emerald insertion is. He just, like, chucks it, but it moves so slowly. How did Gerald Robotnik know about the Chaos Emeralds? I guess through Doom. Yeah. We have a whole video game to explain that, Jack. Yeah, true. If only you would I tried. let's play it. Oh, God. <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> One year I will. Just hate that game. <laughs> and I need to see... Every variation. Thank you. Oh, God. All 200 plus? <laughs> yes. Every possible combination of routes. Yes. Jesus Christ. Unedited. Just, just drip feed that into my bloodstream. So, to, so how did did Rouge just like take the same rocket that Eggman took to get here? Yeah, the teleport pad in the. In the oh yeah, duh, the teleport pad. Yeah, weren't you? You know, I I was. I'm just. I'm really tired right now. Okay, so I am half wrong, half correct on that big the cat statement. Uh, in the original SA2, not battle, he was in fact in every single level except for the two where you do the racing, obviously. Um, and he appears twice in White Jungle. Weird. Uh, and for each of the five characters it's during okay, Cannon's Core. However, in SA2 Battle, his cameos were drastically me. reduced, so he barely appears in Battle. Hmm. I think I think the uh, PC version, which is what I'm playing right now, even if you add the Battle shit, it keeps all of the big cameos. It keeps cameos. all of his cameos. So yeah, so he has a cameo in every level, and he also has some cameos in cutscenes, if you I guess yep. if you're pressing, like, a button at a certain time. I believe that is the case, yes. Big is just Sega's favorite Sonic character. Actually, though. Name a more iconic duo than Big and Sega. 
shall we? Big and froggy. Damn you, right. <laughs> froggy and running away. Froggy and running away, yeah. True, though. True. That feels weirdly racist that he just calls her that. Eggman oh, seems boy. like a type, unfortunately. <laughs> no, Eggman's... Eggman's not racist. He would never. Anyway, next time in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, it's time for Team Dark to enact their evil plans to blow up the island. Yay!